Devin. And I'm Brian. And welcome to our tour of the almost completed new pillar facilities. And the room you're in right now is our main entrance on Mount Hope. This is the place that most people are going to see when they first come in. We've worked really hard to try and uh, reclaim a lot of the original industrial look of the space. You still have the original garage door opener. You have all this kind of industrial looking light, as well as these nine and a half foot high, hundred year old doors that are going to be handicap accessible when we finish having a garage door put alongside of them. But if you look around the whole room, it's wrapped in, in pieces of Rochester's history with the idea of uh, restoration and redemption, taking something that was thrown out and making it new again, which hopefully is kind of taking the idea of the art and the hope that we're trying to have in this space. And you can really see that in the rough hewn wood that we put around here and the reclaimed pallets you'll see right in the next room. So when you come in through these double doors, you're going to get a nice, welcoming, hopefully, look into our new space. This is where we're going to do our church services on Sunday, but this is also where we're going to try and do different sort of community uh, panels. We're going to have concerts here. We're going to try to use this as much as possible to bring some value and added dignity to this area that oftentimes has been seen as kind of the uh, area of the South Wedge nobody wants to think about. They don't want to claim it. We want to try and take this and see this area as an asset in the community. And so as you'll see right up in here, we're, we're getting ready for a special Sunday, but uh, this is the area where Brian likes to hang out on Sundays. I certainly do. But we finally finished our whole wall up here of reclaimed materials, again going to the idea of trying to think of that idea of restoration and redemption. And so as we head in through here, this is going to be our, what are we calling it, a band room, a collaborative art space, something like that. And a venue. So this is an area that because of its real kind of stripped down nature, uh, we've got a lot of guys that want to use it for punk and hard rock all ages shows so that people from any age can come in here and use that. And we'll have local artists come in and paint these walls. We'll try to keep it be representative of, you know, just who's around and making art in Rochester each year. But the other hope is that during the week, when those sorts of things aren't going on, we'll be able to try and find ways to use it for more job training for people who have fallen into hard times or unemployment or have come out of prison since we have New York State parole literally a block away from here. So now you've come into the room that will be the children's room on Sundays, but we also hope to try and find a way to use it for other sort of community activities like comedy and improv, and we're working right now to try and bring in somebody that will help use this as a classroom during the week to teach people job training. What's nice about this particular site is it also has an exit right out to South Avenue, its own little foyer. And that's where our bathrooms are. And our handicap accessible restrooms. Yeah. We hope to turn into the first co-work in the South Wedge. Have a couple of shared desks for people to use, free Wi-Fi and coffee, as a way to try and stimulate pe whatever people are doing creatively, whether or not you're an engineer or a student, an artist, uh, or maybe you just have your own company and you want to get outside of your house. It's going to be a very cost-effective way to be in a collaborative workspace. And then we're going to redesign this space over here as a kitchen so that we can use it for different things uh, whenever we have concerts, whether or not we're doing outreaches to the community. Um, so that's the hope with these spaces. So hopefully you've seen that we've done a lot of work. This has taken a lot longer than we expected. We expanded our main area that's going to be our worship space and our main performance room. Uh, we've had a lot of new hands come in along the way, but you're already starting to see the effects of us being in this area of the community and people's lives. People starting to see that people care about them and that there's hope, that somebody is trying to bring life into this community. Each and every day, somebody new walks through those doors asking about what's going on or we've heard about what you're doing. And so that's what we want to do. We want to make this place be a beacon, a light in the city of Rochester where people come to to say, look at the things they're doing. Look at how they're transforming the community for the better. 
That's our dream. That's our hope. And hopefully we do some really cool, collaborative, creative things, uh, not just in job training and ministry, but in the music and the arts as well. And if you think that you want to be part of it, if you think that you have a, an event that you'd like to put on or a program that you'd like to run and that, that might jive with what we're doing, just get a hold of us. So the contact information for how to get a hold of us will be posted in the article and we'll make sure it's on our website, which is on www.thepillar.com. P-I-L-L-A-R-R-O-C.com.